In this video, I want to talk about this pagan guy who's going around talking about African consciousness or black consciousness. This guy's name is Dr. Umar Johnson. Now, I'm not going to promote him in this video, neither am I I'm here to bring him down. I'm using him as an example. An example to what? I'm going to explain. This guy, from 2014 till now, he has been campaigning for an all-black African academy. And he asked for donations. And there were people donating money, both people that that have more financial resources as well as people are uh, as well as people from the ghetto. He had some setbacks. He was scammed a few times, I believe. He had people telling him they were about to sell him the building, but eventually they didn't sell it to him. So he had setbacks. Now, about a year ago, this huge movement emerged. Not only online, but online you can see what it is, of people talking down on Dr. Umar Johnson. He has six academic titles. He has been a school psychologist for, I believe, 20 years. So this man has experience. And this man is known to tell things as they are. He brings information raw onto you. He does consider your feelings, but when it's time to say it as it is, he does it. One thing, he is interested primarily in black folks, or whether someone is from Hebraic descent, whether someone is a Negro or a Hamite, he talks about black people. That's what he's into. And a lot of the things he, s he says make sense and are factual. But he's a pagan. He prays to Mother Oshun, which is an African deity, which is an evil spirit. He prays to Amun Ra and those Egyptian gods. Now you know that if you pray to Egyptian gods, you are in trouble. For sure. But nevertheless, despite him being a pagan, he is smart. Let me tell you why. This man, when he had setbacks, people began to ask him what he, he did to the money. He told people, if you are a high donator, so if you are don a donator that donated a lot of money, then I may give some information to you. But I'm not going to just spit out information of how far I am with my project. He didn't do it. So when he refused to give information, people began to call him a scammer. They began to bring his name through the dirt. This guy kept going. I believe... A week or a week and a half ago, he got a building. Yes, he got a building and he announced it. Now they can now that they have the building, or better said, buildings, and now that he has the place, they can now continue with renovating the place so the school can open, I believe, somewhere in August this year, or maybe early 2020, I'm not sure anymore. Look at this, folks. For over a year. All those people that have been hating on him, also on YouTube, you have, you have YouTubers with their own shows online that have hundreds and thousands of subscribers, black folks that are popular like that and begin to bring him through the, through the dust. They, man, they were destroying this guy online. They came up with many accusations about his life also that he couldn't prove. And, and I watched a live stream. I didn't watch it completely, but I watched a live stream of Dr. Irma Johnson, uh, I believe a few days ago. By the way, I'm not a follower of Dr. Irma Johnson. He's someone that has influence in the world. And as a believer, I pay attention to those who have influence to see whether they are from God or not. That's what you do. When someone has influence, you just ignore them. Ah, well, he has influence in a subject. I'm not interested in the subject. Leave it. No, you examine people. And you examine how far the influence goes. So that if influence is not from God and it goes too far, you as a believer, you overrule it. That's what you do as a believer. So I watched this live stream of Dr. Umar Johnson. And he said, 
everyone that's been hating on me online or offline, I forgive you. I'm leaving the past behind, but I don't want you near my school. He said that if he saw any of those haters near his school, they would be in big trouble. And now, this guy is a pagan, remember? He's not following Christ. I don't care if his so-called private life is a mess or not, it doesn't matter. This man speaks on behalf of people that, that are being discriminated against and he's speaking on behalf of people that are treated as crap by the world. I'm not promoting a victim mentality here. Black folks in the media and also in other outlets of the world, they're treated as crap. And this translates in daily practice. And this man speaks against it, not in a form of Black Lives Matter, even though I did believe in those Black Lives Matter, I don't know why, but he speaks on behalf of what you, you can say black folks and he empowers them and tells them stop fighting the white man and begin to do your own thing to prosper. So he focuses on the prosperity of the people he adheres to instead of fighting the enemy. And even though there may be an enemy, you fight the enemy, but you also need to prosper. And everything he also acknowledges it's not just the white man that's the issue, like some black empowerment movements do. He may explain that many black folks themselves keep other black folks in darkness. And Dr. Orma Johnson experienced this. Again, this video is not about promoting nor debating Dr. Orma Johnson. I'm using him as an example. He had almost four and a half years of tribulation since he started that project of building an all-black university. When things went wrong, when he had setbacks, it was then that a narcissistic rage of many people manifested. And when you look at those people, they've been dedicating shows to him. There's this one YouTuber, I forgot his name. He spent six episodes and each episode is around one hour and a half sometimes two hours in calling this dr Omar johnson a scammer and he kept going off at the guy and when i looked at this guy who went off with dr Omar johnson he looked on video he looked as if he was about to explode as if he needed someone to to, to beat you clearly see that he was just acting out rage. But what did he offer instead? Nothing. M most of those people that debased Dr. Umar Johnson, they offered nothing to the black community. They didn't address any issue. They didn't analyze anything. They didn't tell people to look at the bigger picture. They did none of that. But they did open their mouth to attack someone that did. Now, Dr. Roman Johnson is a pagan, so I'm not promoting paganism. I'm not to promote people praying to uh, Egyptian gods. Absolutely not. But I do admire that this pagan is practical. He knew very well that there were haters against him, so that's why he didn't tell everyone how far he was. He kind of kept people in the dark, and when he kept people in the dark, people went off at him. But here's the thing, when the government is doing something they seldom tell you how far they are they won't that's why you have problem reaction solution they trick the masses in what they want to do or sometimes you have those mega churches come with projects you need to pay your tithes how often does it happen that people go off and ask them how far the project is well those babylon church will may tell you something about the project but straight answers you seldom get. So there are many institutions out there that conduct policies that don't add up, but people don't, don't question them. And now you have a guy, he may be controversial because he prays Egyptian gods and all of that, but he at least wants to invest in the well-being of the people he claims to love. Even though he's deceived, he's deceived, he's deceived obviously, praying to Egyptian gods. 
you should know by now those Egyptian gods are demons. If you don't, and some people don't, then you're in big trouble. Nevertheless, this guy who wants to do something is attacked by people that do nothing. And this guy, instead of going off at haters to pay them back, he forgives, but he is practical. You're not coming near my project, neither are you allowed to contribute anything. How many believers are practical like that? Many believers are taught by Babylon churches to forgive and forget. Or else you're the one in bitterness, or else you're the one. Babylon churches, um, they put a fear of condemn they put a spirit of condemnation on you when you operate in a practical manner. Instead of telling you to reflect on the past, to forgive, but to demand justice that people comply with justice, instead of having the policy of God, which implies that there, there is only amnesty if there's compliance with justice, Babylon churches tell you forgive and forget. They even tell you to sympathize with the unrepented evildoer. This pagan, Dr. Uma Johnson, he doesn't do that. If you're out of line, you're out of line. He's not going to operate in hate towards you. He doesn't want negative vibrations. He doesn't want negative energy. But one thing, if you're in a, in a state of negativity and you don't want to let go, you're not coming near him and project that waste energy onto him, nor to harm his, nor him nor his project. He's clear. How many believers are like that? The reason many believers are perishing is not because they don't have the Holy Spirit. They do. It's not because they're not saved. It is because they are being spoon-fed garbage instead of the real knowledge that comes from God. Because there are believers perishing in here and now. That shouldn't happen. There are believers that are breaking down due to, due to sickness or due to depression or suicidal tendencies or due to cursed relationships and all of that. And it shouldn't be like that. Believers ought to be the ones shining at the top, shining as the hat. That's how believers ought to be. When it comes to prosperity, believers should be the leaders. Instead, now you have fakers with no prosperity, who fake prosperity, and they are the leaders of the world. And you have believers measuring themselves to those fakers. Many of those fakers are, uh, lead mega churches. So now we know that also. Why I'm recording this video is not about Dr. Umar Jones. I'm using him as an example. He is practical, he is smart. I rather had that he followed Christ, the Lord and Savior, instead of demons who are on their way to the lake of fire. Okay, he's deceived. He's not right about everything. He at least wants to contribute something to the well-being and the welfare of his people. And he makes very plain, even if you belong to his people, but you are the negative, you don't belong to his people anymore. He doesn't want you involved. So you can't just appear with a dark skin color and think he, 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 he's your friend. He doesn't work like that. He discerns you to see whether or not you're tru you, you truly want to be involved. How many believers are like that? Too often someone only comes in the name of Christ and they have external kindness and believers already fall for it. They don't look at the bigger picture. They don't examine people. Look, I'm not telling you to be like Dr. Umar Johnson in a sense that you pray to Egyptian gods. Instead, that you become, um, how do I say, involved in black consciousness and all of that. No, I'm not telling you to do that. What I'm telling you to do is, is to be inspired by his practical attitude and be far more practical than he is. And here's another thing. This Dr. Umar Johnson, he is quite positive about himself. He doesn't wait for people to cheer him up. And that's also why he gets a lot of backlash. Because he knows as a psychologist, if you think bad about yourself, you are cursing yourself. So he refuses to think bad about himself. 
He is humble enough to admit if he's wrong, he's wrong. That's a good quality he, he has. But he thinks good of himself. In Babylon, Turkey should tell you that you don't think bad about yourself because you're a worthless piece of trash, sinner with no good, with no good potential. You're nothing but dross and and filth, and you have to um, and you have people have the right to treat you bad. Even the Most High wants to get rid of you. It's only out of pity that the Most High looks after you, so you should be happy with the crumbs you get in church. That's what Babylon churches teach you. And you know what? This pagan, Dr. Umar Johnson, does not fall for it. He doesn't take it. He threw the baby off with the bathwater, thinking it is what, that Christ himself is. A part of the deception so he's deceived okay so I'm not telling you to follow him because he's deceived but learn from his practical attitude examine people look at the bigger picture seriously look at the bigger picture be at peace